Hi, Instagram. My name is Amanda Troger. I'm a nurse in the allergy and immunology department here at Children's National Hospital. I'm a certified pediatric nurse, a certified asthma educator, and have a master's in nursing education. For the past 10 years, I have been working in the allergy clinic, caring for patients with different allergic conditions, such as asthma, eczema, and food allergies. Today, we'll be talking about medications used to treat allergic reactions. That medication is epinephrine. Let's get started. So what is epinephrine? Epinephrine is a hormone or chemical that the body creates. Another word for epinephrine is adrenaline. This is a chemical that's responsible for our fight or flight response. The epinephrine as a medication is used in many different conditions. But today we are focusing only on the form of epinephrine that's used for treating an allergic reaction. In the community, that is administered through an epinephrine autoinjector. Why is it the first line treatment for anaphylaxis, which is medical speak for allergic reaction? Well, that's because epinephrine can treat many of the signs and symptoms caused by an allergic reaction. It not only stops the allergic reaction quickly, it also goes in and fixes all of the things that occurred because of the reaction. It works extremely fast within seconds and is very safe. There's no other medication that acts on so many different parts of the body, which is why epinephrine is the drug of choice for anaphylaxis. So what does it do and what are there any side effects? Well, during an allergic reaction, certain cells in the body release chemicals. These chemicals cause the symptoms that we see or feel, such as difficulty breathing, throwing up, or seeing a rash. What epinephrine does is it goes in to those cells and stops them from releasing more chemicals into the body. It goes to the parts of the body that are affected and then also reverses the effects that it was caused by those chemicals. For example, if the muscles in the lungs are affected by the allergic reaction, they may become very tight and very difficult to breathe. The epinephrine goes in and it loosens up those muscles, allowing you to breathe better. As with any medication, so there are some side effects. Most common side effects are what you might feel if you go into a haunted house and someone jumps up behind you. You might feel your heart racing. You might feel a little shaky, maybe go so pale. Might, some people might feel a little anxious. This is all from the epinephrine, the adrenaline that's going through your body. It doesn't last long. The medication is out of the body very quickly. And so for that reason, the benefits of using epinephrine far outweigh any risks from the side effects. When and how should it be used? Well, epinephrine should be used as a first line treatment for an allergic reaction. In general, if the person is experiencing any severe symptoms, such as trouble breathing, tightness in the throat, or feeling faint, then epinephrine should be used immediately. But you don't wanna wait for those symptoms to become severe in order to use epinephrine. It is also recommended to use epinephrine promptly if more than one body system becomes involved. This, for example, would be hives and vomiting, or a sudden increase in congestion and severe stomach pain. The goal is to prevent the reaction from becoming severe. A delay in epinephrine is one of the key factors identified in food allergy fatalities. Now, epinephrine is given as an injection in the upper outer portion of the thigh. In the community, it comes as a single dose inj auto injector. You and your child should always carry two epinephrine auto injectors with you at all times. This allows a backup in case of an error with the first device or the ability to have a second device if needed to give a second dose. There are many different devices on the market. Currently there are four and each one has a slight difference on how it's used. You wanna be, be familiar with your specific device and know how to use it. Be sure to use the trainer and practice so that you are ready in an emergency. How do you keep it stored? This is great. Auto injectors really should be kept at room temperature and out of direct sunlight. It's best to keep it readily accessible in your bag or on your person. 
You don't want to go too far away from it in order to use it right when you need it. It is not recommended to keep the auto injector in the car and especially not the glove compartment. The reason is because if it gets too hot or too cold, the drug may not work properly. This can be dangerous, especially if you need it for an anaphylactic reaction. So what do you do after using it? In general, if you have an allergic reaction and you need to use the epinephrine auto injector, it's recommended to go to the hospital for evaluation and monitoring. The reason is so that you and your child can be monitored for a second reaction and to be provided additional treatment if the reaction continues after the first dose. There are some cases when a reaction can linger or can come back a few hours later. So we want to make sure we're in a safe place and that we can be treated if that were to occur. It's recommended to call 911 and go into the ambulance that way you don't have to be stuck in traffic or dealing with a reaction in the car while also trying to drive. When you give the epinephrine and while you're waiting for the ambulance to arrive, you want to stay calm. You want to try to lay flat, feet up. If possible, that would be great. If not, many children are not going to cooperate and lay flat with their feet up. So the best option is to do a calm, gentle activity, watching a movie, coloring a book, reading a book. This will allow them to stay calm and allow the medication to work effectively. Running around can cause a reaction to worsen. Now it's important to know that everything we discussed today is just a general description. Always speak to your child's healthcare provider and your allergist. A personal action plan should be created and provided to schools, daycares, and anyone else caring for your child. Thanks so much for listening and watching this episode of Bear Bites. If you have any follow-up questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or give my team a call at 202-476-3016. Thank you and have a wonderful day.